So far we have seen that a mechanism consists of links connected with pairs. Now we will see the overall effect of these links and pairs on the mechanism. And for that we will start with a single link in a planar or two-dimensional mechanism. So here is a link in the XY plane. You can imagine this to be something like a book placed on a table. And there are only three things this body can do. It can translate along X, translate along Y or rotate about the Z axis or all these things uh, three things may occur together X translation, Y translation and Z rotation. So such a body is said to have three degrees of freedom because these three motions are independent of each other. So we conclude that every additional link brings three extra degrees of freedom along with it. Now let us see the effect of adding a kinematic pair. Here we have the same rigid body but we have constrained its motion by adding a kinematic pair. So here we have added a revolute pair, here we have added a sliding pair, another sliding pair and so on. Let us see what the body does. So now it is capable of only rotation or only translation along x or only translation along y. So out of the three degrees of freedom it had, the pair has absorbed two degrees of freedom. So we conclude that every kinematic pair that we add removes two degrees of freedom. We can combine these two conclusions into a single formula for degrees of freedom of a mechanism. Since each link adds three degrees of freedom, we have multiplied the total number of links with plus three. And since each pair removes two degrees of freedom, we have multiplied the total number of pairs with minus two. Since one of the links serves as the foundation fixed to the ground, we subtract one from the total number of links. Finally, we generalize our formula to include pairs which have two degrees of freedom. So if P2 is the total number of such pairs, which remove only one degree of freedom, our final formula looks like this. Degree of freedom of a mechanism is equal to three times the number of links minus one, minus two times the number of pairs with one degree of freedom, minus the total number of pairs with two degrees of freedom. This is called as Grubler's criteria.